Sebastian Vettel's mistakes adding up to another Miss Championship Sebastian Vettel said he is at peace with himself despite the baying hounds of the Italian media turning on him after his mistake at the German Grand Prix caused Ferrari a win. For this intelligent and grounded driver it is a familiar mantra he has employed previously. Indeed, it was a response that was entirely expected which suggests he is having to use it too often. In a tenacious battle for the World Championship with Lewis Hamilton, it appears to be that in moments of pressure, Vettel has been found wanting. Taking a pounding in the press of Ferrari's home nation comes with the territory in a red car. But it was that Vettel's crash in the wet at Hockenheim while leading was self-inflicted, that seemed so exasperating. His mistake is devastating and could be why Ferrari loses the World Championship. La Gatta dello Sport forebodingly wrote. La Stampa said, the German has made at least four mistakes in 11 races. The talent of the world champion is not questioned, but his exaggerated zest is hurting Ferrari's season. Four mistakes this season would include his grid penalty for impeding Carlos Sainz and qualifying at the Red Bull Ring and some have cited the clash with Max Verstappen in China, which is unfair. Having given the Dutchman room, he was not to blame when Verstappen clouded him. He has, however, made five high-profile mistakes in just over 12 months and all were misjudgments at moments of great intensity. In June last year with Hamilton leading in Baku, the red mist descended when, believing he had been brake tested, he barged into his car. A 10-second stop-go penalty ensued and it would have been costly in points but for Hamilton having to stop again because of a loose headrest. At Monza Hamilton had taken the championship lead for the first time in 13 races. At the next round in Singapore, where Mercedes struggled, Vettel had to make the most of it. Qualifying on pole with Hamilton in fifth was perfect. What followed was not. Faced with a charge from Max Verstappen and Kimi Raikkonen off the line he moved across to defend, the three clashed, all were eliminated. Hamilton went on to win. With a title at stake, playing the percentages and going wide would have been wiser but for that exaggerated zest. The result gave Hamilton a 28-point lead and he took the title. This season the fight is even closer but ambition has again outweighed the long game. In Baku he was too aggressive on the restart and went wide, converting second place to fourth. Once again Hamilton won. Then in France he was too hot into turn one, locked up and hit Valtteri Bottas. Hamilton won, the German was fifth. All were moments of high pressure, all ended up costing Vettel and then there was Germany. He has never won at Hockenheim but grew up close to the circuit and wanted to deliver at home. Here was a cauldron partly of his own making but one intensified by Hamilton's charge from 14th. After his pit stop Hamilton was 24 seconds behind, 7 laps later he had half the gap. But the German still had track position and likely the race if he kept it on the island, yet overcooked into the sex curve and it was over in a moment. He is a keen student of the sport and may later have considered when Joe Ren pressure Jack Brabham into an error on the last lap at Monaco in 1970. Certainly there were shades of the mistake he made when hounded by Jensen Button on the final lap at Canada in 2011 which cost him the win. I don't need pity. It was my fault, he said of Germany. When everything goes well you are cheered, and if you make mistakes you are criticized. So I don't care much about what people say. I have to be at peace with myself. Unfortunately the errors are being played out against Hamilton's performances. Hamilton, for all that he wears his heart on his sleeve and is a passionate, emotional driver, can be ruthlessly clinical. Every facet was on display in Germany. Here then was his heartfelt response to his qualifying setback, saying, 
I will die before I give in. Which he followed with an inch perfect march through the field and albeit with a little luck, to the win. If anything the pressure on the British driver, facing losing more points in the title fight, was greater. He had done similar at Silverstone and repeatedly throughout his career. Until his mechanical DNF at Austria he was on a 33 race points scoring streak. Certainly he has flaws but has also shown time and time again almost flawless judgment in when to move, when not to and doing it clean. Vettel's talent is manifest. The old cliché that he could not overtake is a nonsense he has repeatedly disproved, not least on Fernando Alonso through Grand at Munza. He told The Guardian in Austria, of course I am excited at times and feel the adrenaline anybody who has played sport or competed, it is part of racing. Which is understandable and he has four titles but these last two years have been the most intense he has faced in competitive terms and the question they have raised is whether he should be quite so at peace with his decision making. It may well be what decides the title this season, as Italy's Corriere della Sera noted. Describing Hamilton's race as a masterpiece of assertiveness and concentration, it added, the behavior of the two-star drivers makes the difference. <laughs>